Hello and welcome to a tutorial that will focus on teaching you how to use the markup tool that is built into the iPad operating system. I am going to begin by launching the Notes app and you'll see I have a new note here. I did a full screen by toggling this upper left corner and you'll notice right in the upper right corner there's this little pen tool. If I tap that, my markup palette opens up on the bottom of the page. Now yours may look like this because it's minimized and you can simply drag it to the corner and it will minimize it. You can notice there's this little handle at the top that I can pick it up and move it all over the place. I can bring it up to the top, the side, the other side, to a corner, it'll minimize. So you'll see it can take up the real estate where you want it to take up. So what I'm gonna do on the bottom here is just walk you through the tools starting from the left we have a pen. You'll notice any of these tools that you tap on twice brings up your options. This is your opacity slider, how much it is a solid or see-through object, and these are your pen thicknesses. So I'll just show you really quickly how thick that looks. I'll tap on the next tool. This is going to be a, another version of a pen or marker. You have a highlighter that you can kind of utilize this is your eraser tool. We'll get back to that in a minute. We'll get back to this and your uh, ruler tool in a second as well. I'm gonna keep scrolling across. Here you have another type of pen or um, crayon looking uh, tool. I'm gonna turn this one down a little bit. This is a crayon. As you can see, it's kind of hard to write with unless I made it much smaller, but it is a crayon. You can kind of play around with that. Here you have more of a fountain pen if you're looking at something that looks a little bit more handwritten. And finally, you have an airbrush tool for kind of coloring in around. So those are your tools. You've got your three pens on the left or your two pens and a highlighter. You've got your two like crayon colored pencil fountain pen and your uh, airbrush tool here in the middle you have your pen, your eraser tool. Now, if you look, tap it again, you have pixel eraser and object eraser. Pixel eraser, you can choose the size and you can start erasing parts of different drawings or different words that you've written on your page. If you tap it again and do object eraser, as soon as you touch an object, it will erase the whole thing. So you have those choices. The next tool, uh, this little like kind of, um, so, like, just like a pen tool, I guess, but what it allows you to do is circle, more of a selection tool. You can then move things around. You can uh, tap on them and a menu pops up where you're able to duplicate, you're able to delete, you're able to copy paste, all those types of functions that Apple has in all of their pen tools. So uh, you can use that to select and move things out of the way, or again, to delete uh, and move around. You have an option for any of that type of stuff. So if I were to do that, I can do that. Uh, I can use this tool for any type of circling that I may want, as many objects as I want, and go through and do that. Next, and finally, you have a ruler where two fingers will allow you to move it around your screen and rotate that ruler. And if you do have a pen selected, it'll snap your line right to that ruler. So it does allow you to make perfectly straight lines. And as long as you don't use two fingers to rotate, you can make those lines exactly the same degree. So you can draw a number of them at the same exact angle. So uh, that is an option you have with the ruler. I'm gonna go ahead and use my object eraser tool, right, to erase everything. And on the right side over here, you have your palette for colors. Now keep in mind, you've got your five basic colors, but you also have this uh, rainbow colored circle that is gonna be your color picker. You can do something like right up here, this little blue uh, pen tool right there allows you to pick a color from anything on the screen. You have all these choices. You have opacity options. You also have spectrum that you can use to pick a color by dragging this around, or you have the sliders to kind of pick the perfect one, or you can even do a hex code if you know a color code that you would maybe use. 
So those are all your color options down here at the bottom. You can add colors. Uh, so let's say I'm on the grid and I want to add orange to my tools. I just hit the plus and it gives me an orange. So you can add those. Lastly, here on the bottom, there's a plus button. Uh, you can add stickers if you have those available. You can add text. As soon as you add text, you'll see here on the bottom, your toolbar is uh, intelligent, knows that you're trying to type, so it's giving you text options. When I hit that plus, I can also add shapes. When I add shapes, I can pick a shape, and it's automatically gray. And again, on the bottom, toolbar is very intelligent, knows how to add things. So I can choose the border color, I can choose the thickness of the border, I can choose the fill color, the opacity, all of those things. When I tap on border color, I can make it orange. I can make my border thicker. I can make the fill color a different color. And I now have a shape that I can add and customize and make how I want. If I were to double tap in that shape, I can type inside of that shape. Uh, and kind of play around with that type of stuff. So that's really everything that is offered in the markup tool. The triple dot auto minimizes. So you'll see what happens is you could tap on it to choose what it is that you want to do. And when you're selecting a different tool, this will pop up, but then it will auto minimize if you like having it out of the way when you're not using it. Um, or you can choose to do that on your own. Totally up to you. Last thing I'll show you today is in the Photos app, you have an option to mark up something that you have put in the Photos app. So I'm gonna grab an image here, and I'm gonna hit the Edit button up top. You can't really see it in mine, but once you get in here and you are in Edit mode, you'll see right there is Markup. If I tap that, once again, I have my tool. I can draw on and mark up my drawing however I want and add extra things to it. Uh, this is a great tool to be able to add drawings to pictures that you've taken. Um, and once you hit done, you'll notice when you hit done again that your picture in your photos album now has drawings added to it. So if you're ever looking to undo that and you hit edit, you can hit revert in the upper corner and it will revert to the original drawing and get rid of your drawings. So that's the basics of using the markup tool. You can use it in the notes app. You can use it in the photos app. Uh, it's a really quick, easy way to get to some sketching uh, with some of the tools that are just built in. So uh, good luck, and I hope you find this useful in your future iPad use. Thanks for watching.